Yeah, so I went and checked the definition that you can find on the dictionary, and economics looks like the science of uh, production and distribution of goods. And I think that this definition forgets an important fact that this decisions of uh, producing and distributing are made by millions of people. And uh, economics now is wondering whether it has the right model of how people take these decisions and how they interact. So there are two, always two sides. One is when we decide what is uh, good for us and the choices we made. And the other one is how we interact with others. And I think economics is beginning to wonder whether the model that has been used so far is the right one. Parenting is an, is an interesting one in terms of the kind of work that I and others have pursued um, in places like Minnesota. So, I mean, one of our approaches to understanding how people come to be different from one another is um, twin studies, right? And what we uh, have pioneered here and in other places is, is the study of twins, and a particularly well-known study of twins here looked at twins reared apart, right? So for complicated circumstances, um, sometimes surrounding events in World War II, there have been um, pairs of twins who were reared apart and didn't know about the other twins' existence, right? So for example, identical twins who have um, the same you know, basic DNA reared in different circumstances who were then brought together here at the University of Minnesota um, and then given standard batteries of psychological tests, right? So IQ tests, personality tests, everything that they could be given, spent a week you know, here being studied. And, um, you know, the surprising thing is that these twins reared apart are considerably more similar than just two random people, psychologically speaking, not just in appearance, but in terms of things like IQ, things like personality, um, major individual differences domains that are obviously relevant to economic outcomes and other kinds of outcomes. And so it's, um, it's difficult, given that kind of evidence, to hold on to a concept of a person as an entirely blank slate. And that concept, I think, has been, and maybe still is in some ways, sort of central to everyday thinking about parenting and education and endeavors of that sort. Yeah, I think education is one of the most interesting applications of this, and it's going to be one of the most controversial. The first thing I would like to say is that if you look at the debate on education, I think the first thing that should strike us is the difference between uh, how well organized the debate <coughs> is when we talk about academics and how completely unorganized is the debate when we talk about the other phase of education, which is uh, the character building. Now, I think the schools in general, particularly in the United States, have taken up this task and they recognize that bringing up a child in school doesn't mean only giving it him or her some knowledge, but it's shaping his personality.